The Halo Infinite tech preview is happening this weekend and 343 just released a blog showcasing all the details of information like maps, modes, and a full-blown schedule of how this flight's gonna pan out for us all. So I highly suggest you stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So we had a bit of a scare from the last live stream that we had from 343. They were basically saying that they found some last minute bugs that might have actually changed the scheduling of this flight, but it looks like things are moving back on course. The ship has been corrected. Everything is looking good. And 343 released a following blog update about all the details that are going into this flight, like the scheduling of the flight, what kind of content, what kind of maps, when are we gonna be able to play, but Humeth gets a very specific time as well, and their general goals and things that we can play around with within this flight. So I wanna go into all the details about the flight here. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button as it really does help out the video and channel get a better place within the algorithm of YouTube. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So first, let's jump into when you will be able to play this flight. Preload, as the day of this recording of this video, guys, happens tonight on September 23rd, and the flight actually opens on Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then we have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will be 4v4 arena game modes. But the matchmaking will only be available from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 5 p.m and 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I know this causes some pain for you guys internationally over like in Australia and also over in Europe, but I think also just kind of comes to mind that also 343 is kind of giving up their weekends to monitor these flights as well because they're doing like live data in, and also monitoring these flights. And so then they have people online making sure everything's are working properly. So they're giving up their weekends and they're located in Seattle. And so that's kind of how things kind of go right now. And the reason why 343 is doing these designated times when matchmaking is live is so they can stress test their system so when Halo Infinite actually releases, well, you can actually play the game without the game breaking. Then on Monday, September 27th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is when the flight closes. And then sadly, no Halo Infinite until September 30th where that evening the flight reopens and that's where you'll be able to play BTB. But during the downtime from these designated time zones when we will be able to play matchmaking, you can play training mode, which is essentially like playing a custom game against bots. Then you can select the difficulty, number of friendly bots, number of enemy bots, your primary and secondary weapons, your grenades as well, equipment, if enemies reveal your location, play fighting, infinite ammo, and whether or not the game mode is deathless so they can't kill you. So you can kind of just go into practice. Training mode is going to be a great way for you to test out your sensitivities and just make sure everything's kind of feeling about right before you jump in to play multiplayer. Weapon drills will also be be available during the down times throughout the entirety of the flight as well. You know, we have all the same weapons that we had previously, but the new weapon that we have involving this is the shock rifle, which was showcased in the flight as well for the technical preview live stream. Guarantee I'll be showing you guys a video of how that weapon actually works within the game. But for this weekend, it's 4v4 matchmaking, and there's two different playlists you can queue up for. There is bot arena, which is basically where you can queue up with four of your friends, play against bots and like regular matchmaking kind of experience. They will be playing against multiple modes and maps. For Slayer maps, we have Bizarre, Behemoth, Live Fire, and Recharge. So you get a chance to play Behemoth against bosses, which is fantastic. We also have Capture the Flag on Bazaar and Behemoth. You have Strongholds on Live Fire and Recharge. They mentioned saying, please note that Behemoth will join the rotation on Sunday, September 26th, and will be available for both weekends after its debut. So Behemoth won't be available until Sunday. Behemoth probably being released on Sunday just to kind of boost engagement on Sunday throughout the flight. But if you haven't seen Behemoth, I uploaded a video on my channel yesterday showcasing some training mode gameplay from the recent flight. So go check out that video if you haven't seen Behemoth yet, which it looks amazing. It's probably one of the best looking maps ever. And for the other playlist that we have, it's Social Arena, which is your basic mode for arena matches, four players versus four players going at it. And they mentioned as well that Behemoth would be added into the rotation on Sunday for Social Arena as well. 
So think of Sunday as like the behemoth day. Though for Social Arena, the scheduling might work out a little different, where on Friday, it's just gonna be Slayer on Bazaar, Live Fire, and Recharge, so the same thing that we had previously against the bots, well, it's gonna be against actual players this time around. Then on Saturday, things are actually gonna change around a bit, where you still have Slayer from Bazaar, Live Fire, and Recharge, but now you have Capture the Flag on Bazaar, and then you have Strongholds, which is returning mode from Halo 5, on Live Fire and Recharge. And then you have all that same stuff on Sunday, except they add in Behemoth for Slayer and Capture the Flag. And even though the second week is gonna be big team battle focus 4v4 arena will still be available as well the same kind of time zones i'm sure once we get closer to that weekend we'll have more details on what kind of modes and maps are going to be available as well and if we do i'll let you guys know on this channel now this isn't happening this weekend but next weekend we will be able to play a big team battle and i did post a full gameplay on fragmentation on my channel as well guys from the recent live stream haven't checked it out can go check that video out but the second weekend of october 1st through the 3rd here where it looks like we're only gonna get one map and that's fragmentation for next weekend that friday it's gonna be just capture the flag on fragmentation and then on saturday we'll have total control added which is a brand new mode for halo infinite which 343 talked about that mode being kind of like a capture zone kind of thing and after you capture the zones your team scores a point and you have to capture new zones as well and trust me once we actually get a chance to play it i'll let you guys know how it actually works out on this channel now on the final day of the flight on october 3rd they have slayer fragmentation along with total control and capture the flag as well and there will be progression with this flight as well i'm assuming that they'll probably carry over the weekends as well but instead of having 20 levels like we had last flight this flight will require 30 levels of the battle pass for you guys to play around with for season zero i also remember in the recent development update that we talked about on the channel guys that has confirmed that there will be 100 levels for the battle pass once halo infinite actually releases there's been a lot of controversy over the battle pass and progression system as well this is probably be my biggest focus when it comes to playing the flight guys is keep an eye on progression and challenges and see like does this xp only earned through challenges kind of get in the way of progression of the game does it ruin your experience or does it kind of just the same thing but different i'll make sure to report back on this channel guys how it all plays out and don't forget it's not just the game guys we also have a brand new halo waypoint going to be released along with halo infinite with the waypoint app desktop and also mobile editions as well so get a chance to play around with that a bit if you would like to and i will be streaming the flight as soon as we can on my Twitch channel, guys, we do stream every Tuesday and Thursday evening. Obviously, we'll have some exceptions this weekend because we're playing Halo Infinite, guys. And my Twitch channel is linked in the pinned comment below and in the description of this video, guys. If you want to play with me, hang out, ask some questions, do kind of a Q&A kind of thing, make sure to follow me there. That's where I go live. We get a chance to play some games together and play some Halo Infinite. So if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, I got a playlist right here that links to all my Halo information and news that we've been uploading daily about. So thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.